Heinemann Higher. Chapter 5, Reconciliations, Mixed Exercise at the End, Mixed Questions Exercise 5L. Number 3, again, wordy questions. So, part A. So, it's going to take a bit of reading here. <coughs> £1,000 is placed in the account on the 1st of January. £100 is placed in the first month of each succeeding month. 5% is added on the last day of the month. And that interest is worked out in what it was on the first day of the month. Right, how much is on the account on the 30th of June? It's actually just a case of plodding all the way down to the 30th of June. Well, in fact, so the pattern would be this. If I start with that, I'll just call that J. So, on January the 1st, there was £1,000. Which means on February the 1st, two things should happen. On February the 1st, I'll have had 0.5% added onto it. Now, if you add on, well, it's only 0.5%, that means you'll now have 100.5%, which dressed up as a decimal is 1.005. So on February the 1st, it'll be 1.005 times 1,000. Strictly speaking, that's what it was in the last day of January, but that's just going to get carried forward to the 1st of February, and the £100 will have been added. So that's what it would be on the 1st of February, and then the February-March one will be the exact same again. It'll be whatever that comes to, times the 1.005, plus the 100 and so on. Now the question says, not what have you got on the 1st of a month, but on the 30th of June. So I'm going to have to carry on down until I get to the 1st of July, and then taking off the 100 will put me back to the 30th of June. So I'll we'll write them all down. I might as well. So February, March, April, May, June, July. And to work these out, I'm obviously going to use the calculator because it's the same calculation over and over again. It's a reconciliation. You're always doing the same calculation to get the next. So I'm going to put 1000 press equals, that enters into the answer memory, multiply by 1.005. That adds on 5%, then add on 100. And then every time I press equals, it'll give me the first on the following month. So for the first one, for the first of February, it means I'll have £1,105. Meaning, of course, that that was the amount after I added the £100. So at the end of January, it was just £1,005. The next one's going to be 1210.52. call it five two. Next one's going to be 1316.58, just rounding it off to two figures for the pens. 1423.16, maybe I don't need to write these intermediate ones in. 1350.28, and finally 1637.93. Now that's the amount on the 1st of July. That means that's the amount after you've added on the £100. So from, this part, from that part then, on June the 30th, the amount would have been £1637.93, less the £100 that took up to this on the 1st of July. So the amount would be £1537.93. Just lots of plodding. B. On what date does the account first exceed 2000 Well, I've got that here, so I can just keep plodding on. All I need to do is keep counting up after each of these, so that I've got, I'm at July the 1st just now, so that I've got, I don't know if I need, need to write them, I'll write them down, July, August, September, October, November. But with other ones I would just press the buttons and just count them and end state it. So I've got, it goes up to 1746.18. 1854.84, getting close, 1964.12, and finally 2073.94. So when did it first exceed the 2000? You have to be careful because just because that goes over 2000, it might have gone over the 2000 at the end of the previous month. That means it could have happened on the 31st of October. But taking £100 off of that takes it under 2000 so it happened exactly on the 1st of November. So it exceeded 2000 on, it was greater than 2000 on the 1st of November. 1st of November. Was there a year? No.
Part C says, what's the reconciliation? It's the thing we've been using all along. To get the following month's one and do 1.005 times the previous month's one plus 100, starting with U0 equal to 1,000 pounds. And the explanation just that UN stood for <coughs> the amount on the first of the nth month after January. I don't need to explain what UN plus one means because that's just implied by UN. So there it is. I'm not really need to underline that. Put that bit there. I'll put this bit here. So it is. Question three. 